What's up YouTube? I've got a Champion 100 520 inverter generator. I'm using this little guy as a portable home backup generator for when the lights go out. It powers my whole house, all the lights, all the appliances, but it would never kick on my AC. A little research and some help, I found that the Micro Air Easy Start Soft Start device makes it to where portable generators can run air conditioners. So with the air conditioner running, all the lights and all the appliances still work in my house. The generator is big enough to power everything. Now let me explain to you what the Easy Start does. When your outdoor compressor unit kicks on, it uses a lot of juice. There's a big rush of amps coming in to try to get that thing started. Mine without the Easy Start would inrush at about 115 amps. That's a lot. Generator's only rated for 30, so math would say that it's not going to start. Now the Easy Start. It's going to kick on your fan at first, and then it's going to ramp up your compressor. It does it all nice and neat, keeps your whole process under 30 amps. After the easy start, mine was 29.8, a little bit lower than that usually, but that's enough for a 30 amp generator. As mentioned before, this generator keeps up with all the lights and appliances in my three bedroom, three bath house, and now has the ability to kick on the AC. Let's pop the hood and take a quick look at the wiring. Okay, is what we're looking at is my old school Goodman outdoor compressor unit with the micro air installed. Uh, sorry I couldn't do a wire in progress while it was happening, but we've had some severe storms moving through the last two days. Got some more coming. I uh, just couldn't knock out the video of wiring it up, so we'll do a little overview. Um, start with... Uh, my micro air harness. So I've got a brown wire, a white wire, black wire, and an orange wire. Orange wire coming out of the micro air harness is hooked up to my capacitor on the Herm block. Had to put a spade connector on there, hook it up to the Herm. Um, my black wire on the micro air is uh, plugged into the left side of this wiring block where my uh, big wires come from my main fuse panel my main breaker panel so on the left side you might need to double check on your installation could be different but on mine it was on the left side this gray wire runs to the compressor it was plugged in right here on the right side where that white wire is so I had this gray wire from the compressor in this block on the right side I had to unplug it and splice it into the brown from the micro air and replace it with the white from the micro air. So uh, just a little quick overview. Orange from the micro air going to the Herm. Black from the micro air going to the left side of this terminal block. The gray wire that was on the terminal block got spliced into my brown to the micro air and I replaced it with the white from the micro air. Thank you for watching. A little disclaimer, I'm not a professional. If you think this will work for you, you might want to uh, do a little homework before taking this project on just to make sure it will work. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them. I'll try to answer to the best of my knowledge. I've got a few links in the description. And if you've found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, like. If you're feeling extra generous, give me a subscribe.